Hey, it's Tom and Mike from Take Time to Travel. We've lived in Montreal, Quebec since we moved back from Victoria, British Columbia. And while we were exploring this beautiful city and trying lots of its amazing food, we were lucky enough to stay in a beautiful furnished long-term rental apartment located in the Cartier des Spectacles neighborhood. Since we've already moved back to Toronto, we thought we could now give you a full tour of our Montreal apartment. So let's get started. The lobby of the building is quite modern, secure, compact, and has some parcel delivery boxes. Just around the corner is the elevator bank. For security, you have to tap the key fob, then select your floor you're going to in order to take you upstairs. So the elevator opens up onto the 14th floor into this hallway and our apartment is the only apartment on this hallway. These are different layouts in these, this apartment building. So come on in Mike. It opens right into the entryway. There's a full size mirror here and also a nice bench to sit down for old guys like me and put on their shoes before they're heading out. And then the bathroom is right across from the entry door. It has a vessel sink and some storage underneath and then the toilet and a glassed-in shower stall with a rain head shower and also a handheld shower. Come on back this way Mike. This is the front hall closet here not much to see keep our shoes and boots and well not boots but jackets and things like that. I'll show you what's in there in a minute. Come out into the kitchen and the kitchen the, has an integrated fridge and dishwasher. So this is the fridge up top and freezer down below. And then the dishwasher's over here. Cupboards are all fully stocked. There's dishes, glassware, pots and pans, all the appliances you might need. There's an island in the center and it does have a microwave built in. There's more cupboard space under there. And this is for the garbage and recycling. And then it opens up into the living room. We have a good size sectional couch and there's also an easy chair and coffee table. And then across from that is a large flat screen TV and it does have Apple TV, which is kind of a bonus. And then this way, look at the size of these sliding doors. I've never seen ones these big before, but they're like 10 feet tall and opens out onto my favorite part, the balcony. When we got here, there was no balcony furniture. It was empty, so we bought all the furniture and the outdoor rugs, the pots and the palm trees, just so we could enjoy ourselves while we we're here. We're right across from a park, and then that building over there is the Place des Arts. For those of you that know Montreal, will know where we are. Great city view. You can also see bits of Mont Royal off to, between those buildings. And then one more chair and some more palm trees, of course. And in the evening from the balcony, you could see some incredible sunset views. Wow, gorgeous. The Montreal skyline is so pretty this time of night. And as if it couldn't get any better, this park in front of our apartment building would frequently have concerts and events going on, like this one here. And this one for the African Nights Festival which I think was our favorite festival this year to watch. It was a spectacular experience to get this kind of free live entertainment from our balcony with these stunning city views. Love all the moving projections on all of the different buildings. You can hardly even notice the protest going by on the right there. There were different festivals for all different tastes in music. From the Jazz Fest to the Francos de Montréal to even some electronic music festivals like this one here. But let's head back inside. There is a bit of a dining area over in the corner. So we've got a table and a couple of chairs. And then also there's a couple of bar stools that you can pull up here to the overhangs on the kitchen island, which is very handy. So we'll head back down this way. We've got laundry room here, washer and dryer and lots of storage and it comes of course with iron ironing board vacuum cleaner mops and brooms all that kind of stuff and back down this way 
to the bedroom. It has a nice size, queen size bed and lots of room for nightstands on either side of the bed. And over in that door is the closet. Not really a walk-in closet, more of a step-in closet, but lots of room for us to keep our clothes and even room to throw our luggage in there, hide it away. So as I said, these are unusual layouts for apartments from what we're used to in Toronto. And this apartment also has a back door and it opens right out to the fire escape, the biggest fire escape I've ever seen. Come on out here. Huge steel fire escape. That's a long way down. And then over this way on the outside hallway, just give you an idea of the view that we have. We even have a great view out the back. So you can see the Jacques Cartier Bridge is over here. And way over there is the Big O or the Olympic Stadium, you can see. And then we back right on to Saint Laurent Boulevard. And they're still working on the rest of this complex, which is the next door building. So I imagine that will be done by the end of this year or beginning of next. Now, let's talk about the price. It cost us about $2,100 a month, all inclusive, to stay in this lovely furnished apartment in the Cartier des Spectacles neighborhood of Montreal. And we had an amazing time while we were there. Nearby, Place des Festivals was absolutely stunning. And there was always something fun and exciting going on, like this fashion show that we randomly stumbled across and the hockey games on Rue Saint-Catherine for when the Montreal Canadiens were in the playoffs. Sorry, we forgot to bring the GoPro with us, but I think you can tell it was a lot of fun. We loved the central location being so close to Rue Saint-Catherine and Place des Arts, with the Desjardins Complex a short walk away. Desjardins Complex is a large shopping mall and office space, where we did most of our grocery shopping. And it has this massive water fountain that shoots water several stories high. Wow, very cool. We loved having this complex close by. The Green Lick Desjardins Complex has lots of tasty food options to choose from too. On our last night in Montreal, we decided to try a Quebec favorite that we hadn't had a chance to try yet, Rotisserie Saint-Hubert. We made our way inside, through the doors, up the stairs and over to the hostess desk. After a short wait, the hostess took us through the restaurant and over to our table. We sat down at our seats in the corner and took in the sights. It looks pretty nice in here. We started our last meal in Montreal with a pitcher of beer, which was nice and cold and hit the spot. I decided to start with the cream of chicken soup and our meals came with unlimited creamy coleslaw. For the main course, I got the hot chicken on a bun with dark meat and a side of fries. And Tom had the original Saint Chicken Burger, topped with creamy coleslaw, and he also had a side of fries. Both of our sandwiches were very tasty, and we're glad we got to try Saint Hubert before we left Montreal. Overall, we really enjoyed living in that beautiful, centrally located apartment. We especially loved the balcony and the view, and we definitely would stay there again. Well, as always, we really enjoyed making today's video, and we hope you enjoyed watching it too. If you did, we'd really appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications of our future videos. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm, and it helps our channel to grow. And remember, Take time to travel. Catch you on the next one.